Okay, <laughs> it's uh, it's 3 a.m. and man, it's gotten fucking cold. It's down in the 60s. Um, I'm a very lightweight hammock, and I don't have like um, an air mattress or air pad, a sleeping pad to keep between me and the cold. So I'm losing body heat through uh, heat exchange. Um, so I've got, I've got a leather jacket underneath me, keeping my torso warm, but my legs are friggin' icicles. So I'm trying to not freeze to death in the middle of the night in the Bahamas. Like the irony would just be overwhelming. But yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have to invent a new way to stay warm. Staying with uh, with our friend Gary for the last couple of days on his catamaran um, while I got settled, but he just had to leave for a couple of days to go to a job. So let's get to cleaning, shall we? All right. So this boat was underwater for a while, and the bilge pump was pretty cold. I uh, used a high flow pump, gas powered pump yesterday, to get the majority of it out, and then uh, there were some leftovers that ran from the forward and aft bilges. So now I have a standard 900 gallon per hour uh, 12 volt bilge pump. There's some kind of science out there that says I can't pump water directly uphill. So somebody can leave a comment and tell me what I did right or wrong or how I could have done it easier. But this is what I did and it worked for me. I thought about those Dutch dike systems where they use separate mills to pump water through levees up elevation. So my bilge pump is down on the bottom. First pipe runs up and I created a trap. Now there's enough pressure in the pump to fill that first trap and enough to fill a second trap that I created. If I squeeze the pipe down there and manually force water up through the line, I was able to get it up through the drain, the through hole for the sink, which is just gravity fed. So I created the siphoning action with a pump on the other side. Found a pup wandering around. Hey buddy. Hey. Boy. Like you got some food in you, that's good. Just some water. Clean water, clean bowl. Bye-bye. I'm kind of in a disaster zone here, so today's meal, courtesy of the United States Army. Good old-fashioned MRE. Most of the day got pretty much this entire room empty, um, save for a few scraps. So it's ready to be sprayed down with, uh, with a power washer and probably some Dawn dish soap, something eco-friendly. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of oil residue and stuff. On to my next project. My next project are these fucking sweet carved doors. Uh, this one with a badass tiger on it, but it is stuck. Got a stuck door to the front berths. I can't. Oh, it is so swollen shut. Ah, props to Formosa for making a solid ass door. Good. Because I've been kicking the shit out of this thing for 10 minutes now. That's as, as much as I got. I crawled in through the V-berth, um, through a hatchway up front, and then I realized I have two rooms up front. Uh, anyway, it's just jam-packed, full cool shit. Uh, all the sails, dive gear, you know, just anything you can think of um, for, <laughs> for boat life is jammed up in there. You can tell he, like, he secured it all um, before when the hurricane was coming. Uh, but this door was underwater, partially. So from about the doorknob down, it's, it's full and it's stuck. Um, I tried kicking it open from the other side um, and I got about halfway. You can 
can see the we're starting to make some progress here. Um, I'm trying to do as little damage as possible, but um, I'm afraid I'm probably gonna end up doing some woodwork, but it's almost done. Took some, took some pounding and hacking at it. The uh, the catch was jammed, and you can see where where it's swollen up against the door jam. And this is all rusted out, so I'm gonna have to find a replacement for that. I really want to save these doors though. These carvings are gorgeous. Look at this fucking tiger and like this crane down here. Forward cabin number one uh, is a, a twin size bed and looks like some. Well, what does he have? Actually, this is set up like a workshop. All right, cool. So we've got, this would be like a twin size bed up here and cabinetry all down, all down underneath. It's all the sails, seat cushions, life rings, dodger for the cockpit. And then straight up ahead is the V-berth and that's another bunk room. Looks like it has two bunks. Uh, and then this is gonna be our, the head. This is gonna be a full standing shower head. Um, this door is equally as jammed and that knob is broken, so I'm gonna see if I can get it on this side. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many songs out there to help get you into that special Christmas spirit, but none that quite capture the warmth of the South Florida Christmas. It's Christmas in South Florida, sand angels in coconuts, may the snow I got a cut on my finger. I went up to the first aid station and I found inside the first aid station an entire store. Of everything you could think of. So I just grabbed uh, some gloves and some paper towels. And then they gave me some lunch, which was pretty nice of them. They made us some rice, meatballs. Oh, the meatballs are so good. Either I'm starving or this is one of the best meatballs I've ever had. Could be a little bit of both. The country's making fun of us for wearing snow coats in 60 degrees. It's Christmas in South Florida. The summer's almost over till it comes back again in two more weeks. In two more weeks. Well, Well, I found the front of the boat finally. Um, it's been a long day of digging shit out of here and there was so much stuff on the deck I was afraid I was gonna do a damage so I had to move it all to the uh, to the dock. But this is a big room man. Um, lots going on in here. So it looks like it was being used as a uh, workshop which is pretty cool. He's got like a dive rig over here. You know, tools and gear. Obviously they store shit in your engine for the dinghy. That room up there is the anchor locker. That's where all your chain goes um, when, you, when you pull in your anchor. Um, he's rerouted it down to this box. Um, I think it's supposed to go into that box normally, but that PVC pipe there runs up to the deck and that's where the, uh, that's where the chain's falling through. That means this room's always gonna be kind of stinky and musty. I wanna remove that pipe. Uh, I wanna put it back the way it was and, and have this a bunk again. Um, cause with these two bunks here, that, that gives me a total of 10 bunks. <laughs> so I can bring the whole fam family with me. Um, anyway, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. I need to get all this crap out, uh, and sorted. <laughs> 